Uh, John, I'd like to joke around and say that the best thing now Fredo Simon brings to the Reds is a Eugenio Suarez. He's struggled, obviously, in the last couple of starts with the Cubs. He only went, he didn't even get out of the first inning. Then that next start against the Cubs, he only lasted two and a third, I believe. How much longer do you keep giving this guy the ball every fifth day? Me? Yeah. He's got his last start. <laughs> Robert Stevenson would be starting whatever day it is. I, you know, I, I just think to sell this team, I think people bought in, they're rebuilding, and people are ready to take their lumps this year. But you don't want to take your lumps with a 34-year-old starter who's not going to be here next year. Stevenson, in those same three starts, Stevenson's had three really good starts. Right. And he hasn't walked people, and I think with this staff, that's the number one problem, that people are walking people. And, and that was the rap on Robert Stevenson. You saw him up here against the Rockies, a, a very hot team at the time, held him to three hits. Uh, only walked one. I would go with him. I, I, I just think, and I would go with him now. He's past the point where he would guarantee himself a, another, or, you know, a one fewer years of arbitration. Um, so, you know, there's the, the super two thing that he may or may not qualify for that. But, well, you know, I think if you want people to come out, I think you have to give them that. You know, yeah. you can't say, oh, we're running out. Give him a peek of the yeah. future. You know, if, if the other thing is, if Simon had pitched well, it'd be, it'd be one thing. But he's pitched horribly. He may still be hurt. Guys are, you know, secretive about that kind of stuff. But I, I, I would make the move now, or maybe one more start. Um, JD, you kind of the same. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. Uh, I, I, I'm curious, is uh, Simon get DFA'd? Is that where he goes? Or no, he just – Strip him into the bullpen? Yeah, put him in the bullpen. And I, I think he'd actually be a good piece in the bullpen because he can throw three innings one day, come back two days later and throw two innings. Um, he's got he, – he throws hard. You could have him at the end of the bullpen. So, you know, I, I, that, that's what i do. I, uh, I wouldn't DFA him. I don't – you know, with, with the, I'd try him in the bullpen first because of – the, the, the problems they've had in the bullpen. Yeah, I mean, as a fan, I definitely would rather see the youngsters, these first-round draft picks, and the guys you traded big pieces for, like right. Cueto, and see these guys come in and get a glimpse of what they can offer. Because Finnegan has proven to be, yes. uh, he's, he's been great. Yeah, I mean, uh, these pieces that you got in these trades, you know, show the fans who they are so they can get to know these guys, and that way they don't feel like, we gave up Cueto to see this, or, you know what I mean?